Hi Positive Readers, it's Positive Writer today with another video. And today, I'm going to be telling you all the things I watched and listened to in the month of July. I already did my July wrap up, uh, which was my book Tubathon. Um, wow. My reading rush wrap up. Um, uh, I don't think I read anything else besides that. And if I did, I don't remember. So, um... Let's just treat it as the July wrap up because I didn't read anything else other than what I read for the reading rush. Anyway, though, that's the most books that I've read in any month of this year since like February because I've been in a slump for a while. But I'm so glad I read those books and I'm going to go into the library soon and I have like four readathons coming up, so I'm excited to get back into reading. Anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to talk about all the stuff that I really enjoyed that I watched and read. Sorry, that I watched and listened to this month because I did I did watch and listen to so much stuff it's ridiculous so um anyway let's just get into it um the first thing we're going to talk about today is tv shows the first tv show on this list is Rain. I started this show um I don't even remember what day it was but it was in July and obviously and uh I really really liked it I'm not done with season one yet I kind of stopped watching it a couple weeks ago um I don't know it's like my mood have my moods um as far as what I want to watch and what I have like what I have a, like a feeling or whatever to watch at the moment has changed a lot this month and Rain was it for like a while and then it was not it anymore and I didn't binge it. I kind of watched like an episode a day or something and now I'm at like episode 10 of the first season and I'm not continuing yet and it's kind of sucky because I missed the show. I knew it was really good when I was watching it and it's still good now and I'm still wanting to finish it for sure um but I don't know it's just like I was really in the mood for like medieval royal type stuff and then it wasn't all of a sudden <laughs> so anyway uh you know that was that but i really did enjoy what i have watched so far and i will be continuing the next show on this list is big little lies i have been hearing about this show for the longest time and i finally decided to watch it on the day that it ended the last uh episode aired i watched it then and it was amazing it was just phenomenal i loved it so much i binged it in like a week um it was just so good it's so short seven episodes per season and there are only two seasons right now and i hope there's a third one but anyway it was really 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 good it was just like super dramatic and just hilarious and wholesome and i just it was just really it was really good <laughs> there's not really anything else i can say i really really enjoy myself and i really hope there's a season three really really so uh, i hope you should watch it definitely think you should watch it um uh hbo uh, yeah, watch it. It's very good. Um, <laughs> a lot of my favorite people are in it also. I know like at least four people that are in it, and that's crazy to me. Um, and even people who are not main characters I know, it's insane. Uh, Christina and Tris, aka Shailene and Zoe from the Divergent movies, uh, are both in it, and it's just, it was nice to see them in the same vicinity again. Uh, so that was a highlight of the show. But anyway, um, the next thing we're gonna be talking about today is movies. And let's just get into it because I watch a lot of good movies, but I, these are my top two. Yeah. Um, Midsummer. This movie came out in July 3rd. It came out July 3rd, and um, I watched it like at the end of the month when it was almost out of the theater. But I was like, I I had heard about it at the beginning of the month. Then I was like, I kept seeing the trailer for it at the theater, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. I guess like. It was weird looking, it was like freaking summer solstice festival. I was like, okay, I don't know what that is. That's nice. It was cool trailer or whatever. Then, way later down the line, after like weeks after hearing it about it for the first time and watching the trailer a whole bunch of times, I was like, hmm, I am in the mood for a utopian movie. So I looked up utopian movies, like movies with that feature utopians, just like societies or whatever, and I was very happy to see that at the top of the list. I was like, that's a utopia and I've just been ignoring it for the past years? That's nice. So I looked at the thing and I looked at what it was about and I was like, this sounds like something I'm definitely gonna love. So I went to see it and I loved it so much. I am still obsessed with that movie so much. I wish I could go see it again, but like stuff is going on right now, I can't. But I swear I wanna watch it 30 times. It's so beautiful, it is a cinematic masterpiece. The acting, the camera shots, the freaking, this, the overall theme, it's beautiful. Like the, 
everything is amazingly beautiful and it's like a horror movie in daytime just freaking watch it please like watch it if it ha it's not out in your country yet watch it when it comes out if you've seen it already or it's not in theater anymore wait till it comes out on dvd i don't know watch it it's so good i am obsessed still the next movie on this list is minority report i watched it at the beginning of the month yeah I think it was like one of the first days of the month. But anyway, it also features a Utopia, so I, I'm, if you can tell, obsessed with Utopia. But anyway, I did watch this, and it was really, really good. It's from the year I was born, which is, I was born in 2002, and that's kind of a while ago. You think about a movie, it's not a while ago, because a lot of movies that I really enjoy are like from the 1900s. But, it was old, considering how good it looked, it did not look old really at all, and that was kind of like, it was futuristic too, so it was just like, basically everything I love, so... It was really good. I really enjoyed it. So, I was like, <laughs> it's old, obviously, like, old if you think about, like, the span of movies that come out, like, every day. But, watch it if you haven't watched it yet. It's probably at the, at the store or something for, like, not a, not a high price. I mean, it shouldn't be. But, even if it is, it's worth it because it's really, it's long, but it's really good. And it's intricate and it's, it's long, but it's long because it explains everything and then at the end, then that's when everything just, false. It is just so good. It was so good. The same thing with Midsummer too. It kind of, it doesn't drag. It's just like it explains stuff. It kind of like builds and then the last half is just chaos. So now we're going to get to the music that I loved this month. The first song I'm going to be talking about today is Borderline by Tomei and Paolo. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this song did come out this uh, year uh, because they do release music still, which I did not know. But anyway, it did come out this year, I'm pretty sure, because I've heard it playing in, like, the store and stuff. But I love this song so much. It started from, like, an editing audio that I saw. I thought it sounded good, saved it, and was, like, forgot about it. Then I kept listening to that. And I was like... And then I added it to my playlist because I was just like, it's another song by Tamayo and Paolo, I might as well add it. And then I heard it in the store and I was just, I fell in love. I started dancing and everything. And ever since then, I've been obsessed and it just has increased every, like, day. So, this is one of my favorite songs now and I hope that you enjoy listening to the snippet of it that I'm going to play for you right now. I love that song so much, like, I <laughs> listen to it on repeat. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. I'm not even lying, like, it's one of my favorite songs ever now. But anyway, the next song I'm going to be talking about today is Sunflower by Rex Orange County. And I heard the song by accident, and then I added it to a playlist for a character that I really love. And ever since it was in that playlist, I started liking it more and more and more, and now I love it. So, every time it comes on, I'm like, so let's get it.
so that was my July wrap up all the stuff that I love to watch and listen to this month and I hope you had a better month than me just because like why not have a good month people it's good to have a good month you look back and you're like I didn't watch and saw a lot of stuff that was really good today so just I hope you had an amazing month like I did and I hope you read some stuff watch some stuff listen to some stuff and go and listen to and watch the stuff that I told you about because it's amazing. They're all great. Please do it. So anyway, I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.